Now, every so often, I come across a song title that excites me, even if I don't even know who the band is, and even if I have no knowledge of what's about to happen, what's about to take place, just the song title kind of just wake me up a little bit. And so I saw this recommendation, and I'm sitting there like, Exile kiss you all over now look I've never heard of exile I don't know nothing about exile I've never heard a song from exile but I mean kiss you all over I mean are we getting are we are we getting slow rhythm and blues band here I mean I I, I don't know I, again, I've never heard of Exile. This is my first time hearing them, so you know I got to do my research. But um, I'm excited for this. So here we go. Exile, formerly known as The Exiles, is an American band formed in Richmond, Kentucky in 1963. The band consists of J.P. Pennington, Les Taylor, Sonny Lemaire, Marlon Hargis, and Steve Gotsman, Goatsman, Gotsman. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. I, I know I messed all of them names up. With a founding membership including original lead singer Jimmy Stokely, the band played cover songs and local events in the state of Kentucky for a number of years before becoming a backing band on the touring review Caravan of Stars. Okay, after a series of failed singles on various labels, Exiled achieved mainstream success in 1978 with Kiss You All Over, a number one single on the Hot 100. Wow. So they struggled to even, to get a, to get a good single, period. And then all of a sudden, boom, they had a number one. That's crazy. After Stokely was fired due to declining health, Oh, that's not fair. I don't like that. Um, I guess that is part of the game, right? But that's that really sucks. Mark Gray and Taylor joined as vocalists, also contributing on keyboard and guitar, respectively. However, Gray departed after only three years to begin a solo career. Exile began a transition to country music in the beginning of the 1980s with Pennington and Taylor as vocalists alongside Lemaire, Hargis, and, Gots and Gotsman. This lineup was featured on their 1983 album, Exile, their first as a country band, and their first on Epic Records. Between then and 1987, Exile had 10 number one singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, as well as a number one country album with Kentucky Hearts in 1984. Alright, so it sounds like the, 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 the transition needed to be made of them I'm going to assume what did they 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 did covers I'm going to well oh okay yeah the iteration of the this iteration of the band mostly plays soft rock and pop music so I I guess they you know they were just I don't know it's weird right because it's when you make music and you kind of have an idea of what you want to make, um, I guess it's, that's just a tough pill to swallow to to think. Okay, look, we love soft rock. We more we like we love more of the softer vibe, and to realize, damn, you know that country song we put out, that's doing really good, and it seems like that might be the route for us I don't know that just seemed like a tough pill to swallow but that's good that they found that out uh, Hargis, Pennington and Taylor left the band in 1987 and 1989 with Lemaire and multi-instrumentalist Paul Martin uh, alternating on lead vocals for two albums uh, during the early 1990s both Pennington and Taylor recorded as solo artists 
Exile disbanded in 1995. I, I, I'll be honest. Once a band loses like three members, I think y'all should just drop it. I really do feel that way. Like once it becomes... You know, if it's a band of five, like once two go away, I I don't know. I just because it's hard to view them, especially like Guns and Roses, right? Imagine if at some point, like Axel and Slash just left. Well, see, they're the stars, right? So I I don't know, I don't know, but that's just kind of. It's weird when one person leaves and another person leaves and another person leaves. And it's like, all right, well, you got two original members, like, but this isn't act, this isn't exile. Like, this is not the, the, the group that is known as exile. This is just two guys from that band. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, exile sound is defined by vocal harmony with rock and pop influences. Most of their country music releases were co-written by Taylor and Pennington, and most of their country albums feature the band playing all the instruments by themselves instead of using uh, session musicians. All right. Uh oh, they're active now. They're cl- they're currently active. Okay. They've been signed to Jimbo. I've never heard of that label. Monument, Date, Columbia, Wooden, Nickel, Echo, Warner, Curb, Epic, Arista, Nashville, Inner Sound, Clearwater. We've heard a few of those labels before. But they really didn't get... I mean, oh, well, I mean, they kind of did tell us they had 10 number one country song singles, number ones. But... Overall, like album sales, they they didn't really give us all that. So, but I'm gonna assume they did really well. I'm gonna assume that. But look, I want to hear this song, "Kiss You All Over." And so, based off of what we just read, this is before they made their transition to country. So this will not be country. We know that much. Well then, damn it, I'm ready to hear it, man. Exile, "Kiss You All Over" on Top Pop. I keep forgetting to do my research on Top Pop, but. On top pop, let's let's see what's going on here. This is them. Yo, you know how many movies I've heard this song in? This is them. You know, <laughs> you know, you know the uh, the movie that obviously comes to mind right now. Is it Wild Hawks? It's a scene in one of these movies where somebody's singing. He he sung uh, he sung genuine pony. He sung uh, uh, not you wish your girlfriend was hot like me, and then he sung this song. Oh, that I think it's Wild Hogs. I think it's Wild Hogs, but I've heard this song. So many different times. And I think I've only ever heard the first verse. This is crazy. Wanna get home, babe? Gonna light your fire. All day I've been thinking about you, baby. My one desire. Gonna wrap my arms around you and hold you close to me. Oh, baby, I wanna taste your lips. I wanna be a fantasy. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do without you, baby. I don't know where I'd be. You're not just another lover. No, you're everything to me. 
Every time I'm with you, baby, can't believe it's true. When you lay in my arms, you do the things you do. You can see it in my eyes, I can feel it in your touch. You don't have to say a thing, just let me show how much I love you. going on right here did y'all hear it do y'all hear that guitar and that bass all up let's hear that part again I don't know what this is classified as. I'm going to take a guess. They're going to label this as pop rock. And I do agree with that. Uh, Well, let's see. Let's see what they label this. I think it's pop rock. They label it as soft rock and disco. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I agree with that disco. I ain't gonna lie. I almost got up and started dancing. Woo! They started going crazy on that part. All right, so this is, we know this is from 78, uh, written by Mike Chapman and Nikki Chen. It was included on the band's third album, Mixed Emotions, and featured lead vocalist Jimmy Stokely and guitarist J.P. Pennington on vocals. I really like Jimmy's dark, vo- uh, dark voice, low voice, and J.P.'s more strong, lighter voice, but to blend it perfectly. And it, like, it was perfect. It was just perfect. Uh... Top 40 broadcast, Casey Kasim reported that Chapman stated his source of inspiration was It's Ecstasy When You Lay Down Next to Me by Barry White. Uh, I've never heard of I, I've never heard that song by Barry White. I would love to hear that. The song was number one single in the United States, but proved to be Exile's only big hit in the pop market. They will later have success on the country music charts. Okay. I mean, tough pill to swallow, but again, they found success later, so, you know. 
uh, it was number one for four weeks. Billboard ranked it number five. Uh, song of uh, of 1978 It reached number one In at least three other countries Peaked at number six in the UK Billboard ranked the song 10th On its list of the 50th Of the 50 sexiest songs of all time That's hilarious Lead vocalist on the number, Stokely, was ousted from the band in 1979, his health declining thereafter until he died at the age of 41 in 1985. What the hell happened to him? Like, if I if I get some more context to what happened to him, maybe I wouldn't feel so bad. But, like, just the fact that I keep reading it that way, he was ousted, he was kicked out. Like, because of his health. Like, I just, I, I don't like how that story is being framed. But, anyway. Okay, it was number one in South Africa, New Zealand, and Australia. Those are the three other countries. But it did good everywhere. It was top ten everywhere. So, that's definitely a hit. Oh, this is another version. Somebody else recorded a version. I understand. That song is... Look, I ain't gonna lie. That part before... Till the night closes in... Well, when you get to that... Yo, whose riff is that? I've heard that riff in another song. Who got a riff like that? I've heard that riff before. I, it's pretty common, actually, especially in disco. Um, but yeah, that wreck is exile. All right. Well, another band that I'm really excited to learn and know more about because. That was one hell of a reaction. One, that, that was one hell of a song uh, for an, uh, an official introduction reaction. I can't wait to hear more. I really want to know what happened to Jimmy Stokely um, and why he just got kicked out because of health reasons. Again, it's not like I haven't heard that before or seen that before, but just to kick somebody out. I don't know. I, I just I, I I gotta read I gotta read into that some more. I gotta see what's going on there. But look, y'all let me know how y'all felt about this record. I loved it. I loved every second of it. So y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Exile. Peace.